first of all, the bell is going to ring at some point in three minutes and three seconds. <laughs> We're doing arc length, but this uh, lesson is pretty quick and straightforward. So, boom. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. Okay, so when we're talking about arc length, the formula is S equals R theta, okay? Where theta is the angle, doop, R is the radius. What we're finding is that blue length, and theta must be in radians, okay? Common variables used to represent angles. Instead of theta, you could do alpha, beta, or gamma. Those are common. So if a circle has a radius of 10 inches, Find the length of the arc intercepted by a central angle of 120 degrees. You see me? It's really small back there. That's why I'm like, I can't really see that. So this is our conversion for um, degrees to radians. They gave me the angle in degrees because they're trying to be annoying. Okay? So theta must be in radians. So we're going to convert to degrees. I mean, convert to radians. Excuse me. So we multiply the conversion by 120. Degrees cancel out. 120 pi over 180, we're going to simplify, we get 2 pi over 3. We're going to take that, okay, and use our formula. So 2 pi over 3 comes in, our formula is S equals R theta. So theta is 2 pi over 3, and R is 10. We multiply those by each other. 10 times 2 pi over 3. I'm going to get 20 pi over 3 inches, or approximately 20.94 inches, if I round to two decimals places. It's really that easy. So a circle has a radius of six inches. Find the length of the arc intercepted by a central angle of 45 degrees. Theta must be in radians. 45 degrees, so we're gonna convert that to radians. Then degrees cancel out, 45 pi over 180. We're gonna simplify that, pi over four radians. We're gonna take that pi over four radians and we're gonna plug it into the formula. And our radius is six. So 6 times pi over 4 is going to simplify to be 3 pi over 2, because 6 over 4 is 3 over 2. Leave that pi alone. If I pop that into the calculator, 3 times pi, divide that by 2, I'm going to get approximately 4.71 inches. It really does not get harder than that. That's it. So let's just look at different formats. So use the formula S equals R theta. Answers must be exact. So if I have 115 degrees, we're going to convert that to radians. 23 pi over 36 radians. That's really ugly. Um, <laughs> we're going to multiply that by the radius, which they told me was 8. And uh, we're going to get our answer. 46 pi over 9. I'm going to do that again with the other problem. I'm going to convert 200 into radians. That's going to give me 10 pi over 9. Uh, our radius is 19 feet. So we're going to get 19 times 10 pi over 9. It's 190. Didn't I tell you the bell was going to ring? <laughs> 190 feet over 9. Ta-da! And these answers are exact. Exact means I leave it in terms of pi. And when I'm leaving it in terms of pi, it's exact. Yay! And remember your units, feet and centimeters. Hello. Okay, two more examples. The first one must be exact. The second one needs to be rounded to two decimal places. You should try this one by yourself. Notice it's already in radians. Don't we love that? I don't even have to convert. So we're just going to multiply the radius times the, times the times theta. 63 pi over 4. And the same thing for the other one. 14 times 19 pi over 12. Just make sure you simplify correctly. 133 pi over 6 meters. Yay! That one needed to be rounded to two decimal places, so 69.60 meters. Guess what? You're done! That's that lesson in a nutshell. I don't really have nothing else for you. That's how you find the arc length. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, comment. Subscribe. Do all the things. And I'll 
catch you in the next one catch you in the next one catch you in the next 